is tutorial number 18 on the mail ordering API in Laravel and in this tutorial we are going to fix a certain issue as we said if you can look into our database let us analyze this meal which is existing we are having a meal lunch and the date where the meal had to be valid is the first of October 2021. But if you can come to the date here, it is the 4th October 2021. Meaning that this mail is not valid anymore. It expired. And the users, once they come onto our menu, they shouldn't see the mails which are expired. So we only want the mails which are valid to be returned to the user because in the coming tutorials we are going to start working on the ordering of the meals. So the client will come, sees the menu and orders the meal on the menu. And in, in the coming tutorials we shall introduce the emailing functionality, the SMS functionality whereby once the user makes an order, automatically he will be sent an email as well as an SMS and we shall be offloading those tasks to be running them as background tasks. So let us come back and see if we can. Let me duplicate this tab and let me first log in to get a new valid token so let me first start our server so php artisan serve so our server is running so let me log in to get a new token so let us get this token and we duplicate this so let us Use the menu endpoint and let me provide the token for this. So, once we hit, as you are seeing, now this email is returned to the user, but remember its validity already expired. We are going to fix this issue that once a mail, once a mail expired it shouldn't be brought back to the user so now let us go into our menu controller so inside our menu controller let me first come back into the store function and get this block of code we are going to be using it in our validation. So inside the index method, let us put this block of code. So for this, we are getting the time tomorrow, meaning that the mail shouldn't be valid once it expires or it exceeds tomorrow. So we are defining the mail for tomorrow. So now, after getting this, this one will carbon tomorrow will return the time the time stamp, but we need the actual date, so we must convert this to date string to get the actual date and we are calling it tomorrow. So now let us edit this. So we shall say menu facade. where into brackets and where where menu validity where menu underscore validity is equal to tomorrow
Then we are going to get all the fields. So this one <coughs> will return the mills which are valid. Any mill which is not valid will, will be filtered by this query. So let us go back and try to run our query. As you are seeing now, we are having an empty array, meaning that that mill is no longer valid, this one. Its date expired. So let me go ahead and create a new mill inside our database such that we can test. So let me just use this endpoint. I change it to post. And inside the body, let us provide mail name because it is the only field we need. So mail name, we are going to create a mail called lunch. So once we submit, automatically this one has been created and coming back to our database, we are seeing a new mail whose validity is 4th of October 20, 21st. So within this date, this mail will be valid and it will be returned. But the moment we go to the next day, which is 5th, this mail will not be valid and it will no longer be brought back to the user. So let us first go back, hit the end point, the get end point and see what we are getting. And for now you are seeing that this mail was returned to the user because it is still having a valid date. Its validity is still on. So let me go ahead and create Another meal, which is breakfast. Breakfast. And submit it. So as you are seeing, undefined variable. Let me first check into our database in the meals table and see. Okay, inside the meals table, we do not have breakfast. We are having supper. So let me go ahead and provide supper. And submit. And as you are seeing, supper was inside our meals. And it has been submitted to the database. So let us go back to the menus table. And as you are seeing, we are having supper and its date is still also valid. So now, let us try to fetch the mirrors and see. As you are seeing, lunch was brought back and also supper was brought back. Meaning that their validity is still on. But the lunch, which was created, whose validity was first of October 2021 was not returned back. So we have managed to, to validate that. And our next step, uh, we are going to go back into our test con controller and we are going to create a test for the administrator or any other user to get a single meal. So let me just duplicate this test. Let me just duplicate this test. And I will say, user can get a single meal on menu. So that is our test. And for this, for this, we shall provide a valid ID, for instance, inside our menus. We are having ID 1, 2, and 3. So let me provide any of those. Let me use ID 3. And as you are seeing, this time, let us run this test and see what we get 
But before that, let us first commit to git. So we shall say git add with a period and git commit minus m or commit message added a new test for, for user to get a single meal so we commit to git and now the project tree is clean so for this let us first run the test and see what we get so to run the test <coughs> we need the command vendor period vendor stroke of bean stroke php unit stroke tests stroke future stroke http stroke controllers <coughs> stroke api and the name of our test file which is menu controller test dot php so for now we are having three tests this test this test and this test above so let us run the tests these two tests must pass but this one must not pass and we shall we shall, we shall be fixing whatever causes it to fail so as you are seeing we are having two assertions and if the tests are failing, meaning that one test failed. Let us see the failure. It is saying show does not exist inside the menu controller. So let us go inside the menu controller and add the, the show method. So just below here, I will just say. public function show and this one should take the id of the mail <coughs> we want to retrieve and for that uh, let me just borrow this code here for the index we are going to modify it a little bit and as you are seeing Still, we need to, to return a mail which is valid to the user. And for this, we are filtering. We are passing in the ID. So we shall say menu facade where your menu validity is equal to this. Then we add another where condition for the ID where the ID is equal to the ID the user passes in. So this block of code will bring only a single mail whose ID has been passed to the show function or the show method. So let us first go back and commit to git. So Let us first commit to git. We shall say git add with a period git commit minus m. So added show function. to the menu controller so we have committed to git and after that let us run the test again to see whether the test will pass and automatically now the test passes we are having three tests 
and all the free tests are passing so after that passing let us first go back to postman and test the endpoint so for this if we run this we shall return all the mirrors which are valid so as you are seeing you are having two mirrors so let us provide a mirror with id2 and c uh, and as you are seeing only a mirror with id2 was brought back and as you are seeing it is valid so if we provide a mirror with id3 a mirror with id3 is brought back and you see it is valid so let us try to see this mirror which was not valid it is having id1 so let us try to bring back that mirror so if we provide id1 you are seeing that the the, the mirrors array is empty meaning that we are having this mirror existing inside our database, but it cannot be brought back to the user for one reason, it is invalid. The user only needs to see the mirrors which are valid on the menu. So that is the validation we have made on that. And we have been able to implement a test. For that, as you are seeing, this is the test whereby a user can filter a single meal whereby we are passing the id of the meal so we, we did run the test the test failed we tried to fix whatever the failure and at the end the test is passing we implemented the show function inside the menu controller and we are able to fix to fix a problem that the mirrors which are invalid we are being brought back to the user so now our api is valid so let us stop here for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we shall be implementing the delete functionality of the menu whereby the administrator will be able to delete a single meal on the menu. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment.